What's a leap year? Is it like a frog? Every four years, we deal with a change in the calendar, adding a 29th day to February. Leap year has nothing to do with a frog. Leap year has nothing to do with a frog. Well, almost every four years. It turns out the year 1900 was not a leap year. Do you remember that? Yet 1900 is evenly divisible by 4, so what's wrong with that? Okay, so the average length of the tropical year, the length of time between two consecutive vernal equinoxes, is 365 days, 5 hours, and 49 minutes, or approximately 365.2424 days. So every year we accumulate the equivalent of a quarter day. This is the basis of the Julian calendar, put into place by Julius Caesar in 45 BC. So it basically added an extra day every four years, on top of the basic 365 days a year. And that's how having a quarter day every year adds up to an extra day on the fourth year. So the calendar has been creeping forward at a point zero zero seventy five per year. Basically, our calendars are creeping in an extra seven days every millennium. Pope Gregory VIII was the first determined to fix this problem. It wasn't just impacting the vernal equinox, but also Easter seemed to be moving earlier and earlier each year. His solution was to remove leap years every 400 years. It took a pope named Pope Gregory VIII to say, let's straighten this out every 400 years. It was adopted by Catholic countries in 1582. Check the math. Three days divided by 400 is exactly .0075 days a year. Leap year, 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 leap year. The rules for deciding a leap year goes like this. A leap year must be divisible by 4, but not if it's divisible by 100, unless it's divisible by 400. Thus, 2000 and 2012 are leap years, whereas 1900 and 2100 are not. 2000 and 2012 are leap years, but 1900 and 2100 are not. Pope Gregory's calendar is referred to as the Gregorian calendar. Unfortunately, the Gregorian calendar was not immediately embraced by all countries and many continued to follow the existing Julian calendar. Between 1582 and 1752, the calendars between Julian and Gregorian weren't consistent. This resulted in discrepancies of almost 11 days between the different calendars followed. Currently, these calendars would be 13 days apart. Nothing to do with the frog whatsoever. It has nothing to do with the.